Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do an empties today. I have been trying to get through product rather than opening up new ones. So I'm hoping that there's gonna be a little bit to talk about here. Um, yeah, so let's just dive right in. I've got two shampoos to talk about. One of them is the Full Hair from, I have no idea how to say this brand. And then from the same brand, there is the Hair Renaissance. So this one obviously is for thicker, more luscious looking hair. This one's a bit more of like a protective shampoo. I really, really love this one. It's one of those um, sort of volumizing shampoos that doesn't dry your whole head out. Um, I suffer a lot from trying, trying to find one that doesn't do that. It's a bit of a nightmare for me, but I tend to use this and these together just to get a bit of moisture back into my hair and then obviously this one is for chemically treated hair um anything that sort of needs a bit of extra love so we got both of them on the go i would definitely 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 repurchase them so you can get them from tesco's i believe and they're about three or four pounds so well worth it i definitely repurchase and yeah, I think I've got a few other shampoos to get through, but I think after that, I will definitely go back to that volumizing one. I might get a more nourishing shampoo from another brand, but that volumizing one is so good. And for that price, you can't complain. So while we're on bathroom things, I will go on to the Radox Stress Relief um, Bubble Bath. So this has rosemary and eucalyptus in it. It smells incredible when you just need to relax and chill out this is definitely the scent that i go for yeah as you can tell i've completely gone through that i tend to mix them up so i've got a few that will probably be in the next empties i tend to have quite a few different ones like muscle relief um, and stress relief in one go so yeah i really love bubble bath and i do love like the lush bath bombs and stuff but paying that price compared to whatever this is probably about three pound for a big bottle um yeah sometimes you just gotta make the the changes skincare wise i've got two little bits it's the sotis cream i'm not gonna say too much about this because i've sort of said um about the other ones that are like this size but this one is the redensifying youth cream i did well with it um i would probably wouldn't repurchase again but yeah, it was fine. Uh, nothing happened to my skin. It was all good. I think I've just found other moisturizers that have worked better. And then the Nip and Fab eye cream, which has a little rollable, so metal rollable that you can just roll around your face. I actually haven't completely finished this yet, but I found another eye cream um, that I spoke about in last week's video that was much better. Um, so, yeah, I do like this and I do think it's good. The actual formula itself I don't think does much for me, but I like the fact that it's on a metal ball because then you can sort of roll it around and when your eyes feel a bit tired and stressed out, it's nice to have that sort of soothing metal. Makeup wise, I have two things. The Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, which we all know is my absolute favorite. I love it so much. Um, it just gives you a lovely, lovely glow and I will definitely repurchase it. This is already the second one and look how messy it is. This is already the second one that I have purchased and yeah, I definitely would use it again. It's definitely a summer foundation for me because it just gives a lovely, beautiful glow. Got a few more that I'm using at the minute but this will no doubt be back in the routine very, very soon. And then for brows, the Rimmel Brow This Way is another one that I absolutely love. I love it because I don't have to fill in my brows, I just use it. I use the dark brown one or medium brown I use. So then I just fill it in. It lasted really well as well. I think I've had it for quite a while now and it's, the formula's just gone quite sticky. So that's why I've decided to throw, throw it. But I had to mention it because it's definitely one that I would repurchase. I do love the Wonder Brow one now though. So... Maybe I wouldn't repurchase this again, but yeah, I I think there's always new brow products coming out anyway, so yeah, by the time I swing back around to it, it might not be a repurchase. And this one I am so upset about. I have used up all my Molecule perfume. It is my absolute favourite. It adapts to your own sort of pheromones and stuff, so you, yeah, it's just the best. 
a little bit on the expensive side but well well worth it this was about 60 pound and i think this is 30 mil so yeah but i'm definitely going to repurchase this because it's one of those scents that just smells different on everyone and then to finish up i have two candles for you one of them is the next the chilton candle this to me smells like baby powder so I'm not a massive fan, wouldn't repurchase this, but it burnt really well. It lasted for ages. I was trying to get rid of it for so long, but it lasted for ages. So yeah, I probably wouldn't repurchase it though. And then the final thing is the Love Life Katie Loxton candle. This didn't last that long actually, but it smelt really lovely. This one is uh, Beach Rose and Sweet Pea. So they're soy candles, um, meant to be a little bit better for you, but yeah, it didn't burn that long, so I don't know, maybe it's something to do with the fact that it's soy, but yeah, it was fine. I don't know if I'd repurchase, it did smell nice, but I, as we all know, love my like oldie candles and stuff. But yeah, I did really like it, even though I possibly wouldn't buy it again. I wouldn't say never, but maybe. And that is everything from me. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.